like when you say, you know, these things have their place talking about, uh, I'm not sure if you're talking about psychiatric medication or, or talk therapy and stuff. If you, if you, if you take for granted the conditions that cause us to be miserable and insecure and anxious, if you take all that for granted as unchangeable, then you do need these things to keep society mm -hmm. running. Uh, but a more revolutionary question is, do we need to take these things for granted? How can we change them collectively? And then there's also, how can I change them even just in my own life? Like, how can I um, create conditions where I feel more of a sense of belonging and stuff? And to some extent, that's impossible without changing the entire society. But to a large extent, it is possible to foster more intimate connection with people and nature. Like there are things that we can do that, that have been shown, like, like even like garden therapy, you know, yeah. like get people in the garden and a lot of the mental illness goes away, get them into nature, you know, get them into um, uh, participation in some social project. And of course, if you're feeling really depressed, you probably don't even want to do that. So, so something yeah. has to intervene to bring you from that universe uh, of despair and depression into a universe of participation and connection. Um, and I think that a, a good first step for a sane mental health system would be to intervene by changing conditions rather than by giving pills that, that allow conditions to be maintained. Most of the support structures are there to um, help you become a functioning member of society as it is. And if society as it is needs to change and your purpose in this world is to help serve that change, then the support structures will not be your friend. And we need alternative support structures that understand that society um, has gotten illness and to adjust you to that is to make you ill too. And in that viewpoint, depression could be a symptom of health. It could be a symptom of the soul's rebellion because depression is a kind of a withdrawal from life, you know, and you just want to stay in your room and, and not do anything. You don't want to participate. So non-participation is a good thing. I mean, suppose, you know, mm -hmm. we're in Nazi Germany and, you know, you're, you got a job at the death camp, you know, and like, <laughs> and then you start feeling depressed, you know, it's like, man, I just don't want to go to work, you know? And then the psychiatrist comes and says, oh, the reason you don't want to go to work is that you're depressed. And here's some medicine to make you once again, happy to go to work. Like actually your depression was healthy and not that we live in such an extreme situation, but in a way, like um, the normal functioning of society is bringing incredible suffering to humans and other beings. So I think that it is kind of healthy to not want to participate in the life that's offered to us. So I think that, that yeah, any approach to mental health that doesn't recognize that that doesn't acknowledge that non-participation could be a good thing and that sees health as being well adapted to the way things are, that's got a problem.